Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is contagious and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 8. Then the officer shall speak further to the soldiers and say, Who is the man who is afraid and lacks courage? Let him go and return to his house so that he does not cause his brother's courage to fail like his own. In the whole of Deuteronomy 20, the Lord was giving the Israelite rules or laws for warfare. As I read those laws, I couldn't help but notice today's anchor scripture. The scripture says that a man who lacks courage, you can read that to mean a man who is full of fear, should not go to war. That verse continues to give us the reason why. Such a man should not be allowed to go to war because he could cause his brother soldier's courage to fail. In other words, lack of courage or fear is contagious. My dear listeners, I believe this is sound counsel to take on board in our own warfare of life. Have you ever met those people who you tell something you are going through and they worsen it by telling you how impossible your case is? Or have you met people who are fearful about everything? They are afraid that COVID-19 will kill them. They are afraid of everyone because everyone is planning to harm them. They are afraid of everything. Fear and doubt are highly contagious. You see the way we put on masks to ward off COVID-19? We need supernatural masks to ward off people who are fearful and who do not believe in the power of God. I have had people tell me, that is Christians, not unbelievers, that things I was believing for were impossible. If I hung around them for too long, I would have slipped into doubt. So when I smell such people, even from afar, I flee for my life. Fear is contagious. Stop allowing people filled with fear infect your spirit by listening to their account of things. I noticed something in the account of the story of Jairus' daughter. In Mark chapter 5 verse 36, when the people from Jairus' house came to inform him of the death of his daughter, daughter, Jesus immediately stopped to address their words. Jesus did not want them to infect Jairus with fear. He immediately spoke words of faith to him. Do not be afraid, only believe. He stopped the spread of that contrary virus of fear. Today, please protect yourself from fear. I remember when I first got into the country that I now live in, I visited a family one Christmas. From the minute I stepped into that house till the time I left a few hours later, all I heard were tales of woe of how the nation was bad, of how people were disadvantaged. By the time I was leaving that home, I felt as though someone had laid a massive weight on my spirit. It was the last time I ever visited that home. Please, do not allow people of fear do the battle of life with you. They will infect you and the enemy will attack you. Stick rather with people of faith. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, today we come against the spirit of fear. It has no place in our lives. We, we, we stand with the spirit of faith. Receive all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.